welcome to another video of Walk With Phil and I'm here in West Bromwich and what I thought I'd do today is take you around a few of the streets of the Utree Estate so let's have a look shall we yeah I thought what I thought I'd do today really is just take you around a few of the streets of the Utree Estate it's a big estate I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a follow-up to this particular one uh, because there's such a big area I know the Utree Estate has been around really since the mid 50s I believe when the West Bromwich Borough decided to go on a mad spree of house building uh, between the mid 50s and the early 60s and uh, this is a, a, quite a big estate actually and we've got I'm currently walking along Greenside Way the road along here is 20 mile an hour but you wouldn't think it you see a lot of these roads now on estates for 20 miles an hour. The last time I came to the Utree Estate was when I was a kid. I mean, we're talking now over 50 years since I last come along here. So I don't really know much about the Utree Estate. I know it, in my, when I came with my parents in the, in the 60s, um, it was, I remember all these these six-storey tower blocks that were around here. I understand now a lot of them have been been demolished. Uh, so I don't know exactly whereabouts they were now. There we've got the diamond bus service there, the number 45 that comes through the yew tree estate. There's Redwood Road up there, we'll have a look up there later. Yeah, the diamond, I think Diamond operate this bus service along here. But I'm pretty certain before Diamond travel, it used to be Pete's, Pete's travel. A lot of new houses here, am I right? Okay, now we're on the Thorncroft Way. Just up ahead there, on my right, is the, is the pub that serves mainly the residents of the Yew Tree Estate. Originally the Arches, I think it became the Orchard and then reverted to its original name again, the Arches. What I think I'll do now is just take a, a left up here, Plain Tree Road. Yeah, there were two schools, I believe, when origi originally. Uh, there was the Fir Tree School and there was the Yew Tree School. I think the Fir Tree School was demolished in around about 2012, I believe. And I think it's got housing there now. An housing estate was built on it. Uh, this one, the yew tree, is still here. Obviously in a more expanded form now. Okay, so we're on the Plain Tree Road, and uh, does anyone know if these trees are actually planes? It's very, uh, there's a lot of trees along here. It's a very kind of quiet road. Uh, a lot of the roads at the back of the estate uh, seem particularly quiet. Okay, we've got um, we've got a, a football training pitch here on my right. Yeah, the home of Utree Football Club, maybe. There's the large green area, Elmbank Road. There's a lot of. Um, Barriers along the pavement, a bit of work going on down there. Just look back down Plain Tree Road for you. Okay. This area looks well gated. There's nothing down there, is there? 
Not sure what that was about down there. You see a lot of cars on drives in the daytime. Makes you wonder how many people are working these days, unless they're all working from home. A quick look down there, Brindle Road. For those people who know of a heavy rock, heavy metal group called Judas Priest, a couple of famous band members lived here on the Utree estate. Ian Mills, I believe, he was born here on the Utree, and uh, and someone else who lived who lived in. Uh, Utri was Kenneth Dowling. I believe he was born in Dial Lane on the hilltop. But he lived here with his parents. Ken and Ian went to the Utri school together. And also they went to Churchfield School. Churchfield School, I believe, was the main school you'd go to if you lived on the Utri. But now I believe it's uh, the Joseph Lecky School, which is in the Warsaw area now. This is Berry Crescent. Just going up to the end of Plain Tree Road now. And what I'm going to do here is probably take a left here and go down Birchfield. Birchfield Way. As you can see, most of the streets on the U Tree are mainly named after trees. There's a huge green space there ahead of me. Uh, we've got a no, a no parking sign there by order of the area director of street scene. That's a new fancy job title. Yeah, there we go, they get the U Tree Primary School on my left now. Reminds me very much of the Haiti Heath estate with its wide green spaces and tree lined roads. Built very much on similar lines, I think. Take a look up there, Birchfield Way. Got the number 45 coming through. So West Bromwich via Bescott and the Utree Estate. Yeah, Bromley Road just up there. Running alongside the school. Oh there's Alder Crescent. And we've got welcome to St Joseph's. Catholic Church here just on the corner of Alder Crescent on the Yew Tree Estate. Okay folks so what I'll do here is just have a walk along Redwood Road. The old station nursery on there. Does anyone know what the old station was? Well, it used to look like a fire station, but I don't know. I don't know what that place is. I'm sure somebody will tell us. Okay, we're on Redwood Road now. This is the area that there's a, has a few shops here. And, uh, and of course, I'm always interested in what type of shop serves the people of, a, of an estate. And some of them are, tend to be quite bizarre. But um, let's have a look at these, shall we? We get a bit nearer. Welcome to Utree and Tainbridge, the neighbourhood centre.
So what we got? We got a, we got Dave's Barbers there on the corner. We got a U Tree Pharmacy and Golden Curls. We got a green shuttered empty shop there. Next to it, another two shops. There are three shops, all shuttered, with under offer. Some more council properties. Recycle bin for shoes. Oh, what else we got? Authentic therapy. You know, this is the sort of thing I'm unsure about on a housing estate. I don't know why there's one of those. Uh, let's have a look, see what it does do, shall we? Authentic therapy. Hair removal, cosmetic procedures. Yeah, you know what it is, don't you? It's a nail shop, isn't it? Yeah, nails and tanning services. Uh, a convenience store. That seems obviously the most popular along here. Uh, we've got a Punjabi butcher. And it says marinated while you wait. I'm presuming it's the meat that's marinated and not yourself. It's Bobby's Fish Bar. I presume that opens a bit later on in the evening. And there's a family shop in there. Another convenience store on the corner. So, there are a couple of convenience stores that are open for your essentials. But other than that, not particularly exciting, are they? There's, there's four shops there that are closed up. And we've got a, 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 a nail bar. What's over there? We've got, um, is that another church over there? Let's have a look see what this place is over here, here on Redwood Road. Welcome to the Church of the Annunciation. So yeah, we got that's our second church we've seen here on the Utree Estate. Okay, so just coming and walking back up on ourselves on Redwood Road, I just noticed this place. It looks like it's the Utree and Tambridge Community Centre. It does look open, but I don't think there's many in there. It looks really quiet and as with most community centres I don't never really know what they're doing there. Um, this is another place called the Healthy Living Centre. I'm not really sure what that means either but it is run by the NHS. I'm going to take a left. Dayton Road. Unless anyone knows any different, I don't think Dayton is the name of a tree. Look at these things here. These 5G towers. And some security cameras there for the car park. These 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 are phone masts. If you remember back in the day they were always out in the sticks, weren't they? And disguised to look like trees and or put on the top of hills or high buildings but now they're here stuck on the corner of housing estates somebody's turned their garden over there back to nature yeah big car parking area there for these few houses one, two, three, four houses there. There seems to be a lot of these properties, isn't there, along around Utree? These maisonettes, flats type. Well, I call them maisonettes, but I don't know what you call them. Flats, anyway. A little walkway there on the left by the railings. Everywhere you go along these roads, there appears to be many, many trees. Lots of trees. And that can only be a good thing. Lots of trees. Grass verges. Well, grass verges are very nice, so long as the council come and actually cut them. Yeah, I see a lot of overgrown verges these days. There's a very faded street sign, Haynes Lane. You can just make it out as you get up to it. 
Let's just pan back around for you. So I've just come from down there. Behind those flats there ahead of me is Redwood Road Shops. Yeah, we're on Dayton Road. Very peaceful. You see the you see the old garden or two that are a bit neglected. But on the whole, most of the frontages are well kept, clean, tidy, you know. Always good to see obviously. Okay, we're coming at the end, we're coming to the end of Dayton Road. Now. Yeah, someone's having a bit of work done there. A bit of an extension on the side of the house. It's horrible, isn't it, when you've got work going on? Okay. Just noticed down the bottom there of Maple Drive, there's a, looks like a supermarket down there. So that's another convenience store for the residents of the yew tree. There's Almond Avenue just over there. Almond, Almond. What do you say? Okay, very privy here is uh, well kept, isn't it? Usually overgrown. These privets are very difficult to keep on top of at times, as you can see just over there. Uh, this one's really smart here. These paving slabs here look very smart. Yeah, very swanky down there. There's just Stoke Lane. There's a couple of modern type sort of houses just there with both your sold signs on. There's a just over there looks like a, a through cut to the through path there to some kind of park area. And if someone here still got their Christmas lights up, I think. Looks like them anyway. Looks like Christmas lights, isn't it? Okay then folks, so we've come to the end of Maple Drive. Okay folks, so we've come to the end of our little walk around the north side, if you like, of the Yew Tree Estate. This is what I would call it, the north side of Greenside Way. And we've looked at a few shops and the schools over there. And, you know, if you haven't come around these parts, around those parts for a while, I hope it's brought back a few memories for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the, um, if you like, the south side of the Yew Tree Estate next, and I'm going to do another video around there. Uh, because it's a big place, and I noticed there's a fair few streets and houses over that side, so that's where I'll be going next. So I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit the like button, and also hit subscribe. And hit the notification bell for future videos and I'll see you on the next one.